example of reflection. So we have red light here. Let's suppose the wavelength 650 nanometers. It's uh, coming towards a mirror. A mirror is the horizontal line here. And this ray is coming in such that it's 32 degrees away from the normal. The normal is perpendicular to the mirror. <coughs> normal is perpendicular to the mirror. So 32 degrees. We want to know what's the angle as this beam bounces off of the mirror. Well, there's a uh, relationship to use for that. The incident angle is equal to the reflected angle. Theta i equals theta r. The wavelength is not part of the calculation. Notice. So 32 degrees. So if we have 32 degrees for the angle that's uh, for the ray coming in, then we need 32 degrees for the ray going out. 10, 20, 30, is about there. So again, this is just an approximate in doing the drawing. The mathematics is exact. If it's exactly 32 degrees for the ray um, approaching the mirror away from the normal, we'll have 32 degrees for the reflected ray. So nothing too uh, dramatic or involved about that. The incident angle equals the reflected angle. So now, a little review. We change the uh, the light to now be blue instead of red. It's also coming in at 32 degrees away from the normal. What's the angle from the normal for the blue light? It's a different wavelength, 470 nanometers rather than 650 nanometers. If you uh, listen carefully at the start there, you uh, heard that the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle regardless of the wavelength. So there is no change in the blue light behavior compared to the red light behavior. It reflects off at 32 degrees. Now we're going to do something a little different. Suppose that we rotate the mirror and we have both blue and red or just one or the other doesn't matter. But we have the light continuing to shine as it was before through the air and we're going to change now the orientation of the mirror. We're going to rotate the mirror clockwise by 17 degrees and we want to know what the angle is for the reflected ray. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to rotate the uh, the mirror by 17 degrees. So let's find out where 17 degrees is. Oh, 10, it's about there. And let's now draw a new mirror position. So the the ray of light is unchanged, but the mirror is now going to be in a new spot, rotated by 17 degrees. And not only has the mirror moved, now the normal has moved. So I need to locate the new normal position. The normal is 90 degrees away from the uh, surface of the mirror. So I'm going to aim up towards this spot. I'm just going to draw a dotted line because I've got things kind of cluttering up my diagram. But I know you can handle it. So this new normal proceeds like this. It's the dotted line. That's the new normal. The question now is, what is the new incident angle? What's the new incident angle? Well, how far is the new normal away from the old normal? What's this angle? If the mirror has shifted by 17 degrees, the normal tracks the following the the mirror. It follows through the same angle. So the the new uh, normal is 17 degrees to the right of where the old normal was. How far is the incoming ray away from this new normal? It was 32 degrees. Our normal now is 17 degrees away from where the first one was. So 32 plus 17. So we have 49 degrees for the theta i. This incoming beam of light is now 49 degrees away from 
the normal for this rotated mirror. It's 49 degrees, so theta I equals theta R, the reflected angle is going to be 49 degrees away from the normal. It's 49 degrees away from the normal. The, this rotation not only shifts the the mirror, and the important thing is it shifted the uh, location of the normal. So might ask now, how far is the reflected ray away from the incoming ray? Well, I'm going to draw now the 49 degrees for this uh, reflected ray. So our normal is here, 10, 20, 30, 49 is out here. And this is now the uh, reflection for the case when the mirror is turned. This is approximate. But that's 49 degrees away from the new normal. Theta I equals theta R. And this uh, ray is now changed angle by 49 plus 49, 98 degrees. If I would put the protractor on here and get lined up with uh, this outgoing ray, you can see hopefully that the uh, incoming ray separated from the outgoing ray, it's more than 90 degrees. 90 is right here. So it's more than 90 degrees, so that's as it should be. The ray has been shifted by 98 degrees. So the ray changes direction, this ray 2 with the mirror rotated, changes direction by 98 degrees. That's 49 plus 49. <coughs> 98 degrees. How much did the original ray change position? Well, it's 32 degrees away from the normal on the left, now it's 32 on the right. So the 32 plus the 32, 64 degrees as it shift. And what is the difference between 98 and 64? The, this ray 2, when the mirror has been rotated, the ray is now 98 degrees away from where it came in to the system. The first position of the mirror, the gray leaves 64 degrees away from its incoming position. If you'd subtract these two, 98 minus 64, hopefully you're not too surprised. We get 34 degrees. 34 degrees is double the 17 degree rotation of the uh, mirror. When you rotate a mirror, you get a doubling of the shift in angle. If I rotate the mirror one degree, this outgoing ray will be two degrees shifted. If I rotate by five degrees, the outgoing ray will be 10 degrees shifted from uh, the case when the mirror is horizontal. So we get a doubling of the, uh, the angle. The angle of shift for the ray is double the angle of shift for the mirror. And that happens, of course, because we have an angle on the left side of the normal and an angle on the right side of the normal. We have those two angles. The normal shifts by the rotation of the mirror. These angles are each increased by that uh, rotation angle, and we get a doubling of the uh, shift of the position of the ray. So the ray is going to shift angle faster than the mirror shifts angle. Just wanted to bring out that point. The main thing here with reflection, you don't have to bother with any wavelength calculations. The angle of the outgoing ray, the reflected ray, is equal to the angle of the incident ray. So keep practicing with that. Make your own little drawing and uh, review these principles.